Hello everyone, welcome back to Elsha's Plays uh, Stoneblock 2. Off camera I did a lot of work between episodes, but this time, at the behest and request of other people, I have uh, actually recorded that. Now it was not the easiest thing in the world to do, because I... Uh, well, it was. So what I do is normally I um, play off camera by going downstairs, getting my laptop, putting on some sort of... Stop bouncing! Putting on some sort of uh, Netflix and using Steam in home streaming to play Minecraft somewhat flakily but passably in order to do all this sort of work like I've done down here. So what I've done is uh, dug out this whole area down here, put in a couple of... That was a mistake there. <laughs> put in some of these elevators. These are really cool. They're pretty cheap to make if I show you. Um, ele elevator. Um, it's really just an ender pearl and some wool, but of course everything we did was gated on ender pearls for the longest time, so now that we've got a good supply of them, it's literally just jump and you go up and shift and you go down and you can stack, uh, I think, as many of them as you want actually, and they do have a range, but they're still pretty good. Uh, I dug this out, but whilst I was playing like that, I also recorded at the same time as a bit of an experiment to see if it would work, and it did work, so at this very moment while I talk to you, I'm uploading what I'm going to call a zen stream or something, not necessarily stream, but... Uh, I'm not going to commentate over it, I'm not going to cut it, apart from going to trim the ends off, um, because there's a lot of time when I do stuff, but I'm not going to go around, you know, um, taking out the bits where I paused it to go and make food and stuff like that. Uh, it's just going to be there if you want to watch it, so you can see the off-camera work that I did to get all this down here. And now what I'm doing is I want to sort of set up this, um, this sort of maintenance shaft sort of concept throughout the base, so there's going to be... Um, the occasional big room, this is going to be full of machines eventually. I've moved the latex production down here already. Um, and over here, there are the machines that eventually I will be automating. This is already automated, as you know. Uh, this is where there's going to be things that we kind of don't really want to look at too often. But we are also going to want a place where there's things we want to be able to use manually. Uh, and so up here, I've had to put... Well, I haven't had to. But this seemed like a sensible place to put this, because occasionally we do want these things out of here. I lost all the inventory when I did so, so it's making more. Um, uh, and that's just continuing with the production of soul sand up there. I, I could probably stand to put another elevator here, actually, couldn't I? Yeah, uh, we'll think about that. I, have, I haven't got any wool or render pills on me at the moment, but there's one thing I want to do, because in the end of the last episode, or at least some point in the last episode, which is why I got the Yeti Wrench out and right-clicked on this earlier, um, I wanted to know how to start making drops of evil. If you remember, we went drop of evil like this. And then we went, uh, and, went huh? and literally the only thing you could do is get it from wither skeletons. I didn't know how to do that because wither skeletons live in the nether and we're not allowed in the nether, so how dare you. What you do is you take a bucket of witch water. Oh, boy, I did this very wrong. Take a different one, maybe. Insert off rather than extract. Uh, <laughs> you continue. You are now witch water. We will take this witch water. You will fill yourself up. Correct. And we can turn it back on again. Now that we have witch water, which is uh, this water. Why are you asking which water? We know clearly. Well, I don't know if you if you want to go and have a look. This has started happening. Um, I don't know if it's anything to do with our loaded chunks, but we have loaded all of these chunks, so I don't know why it would disassociate like, like this. Disassociate like this. I think it's all still working though, it's just gone a little bit funky, so I'm gonna leave it for now. See if it gets any better or worse. And if we head in here, lights are currently off. It's fine. That's what we want. We're gonna put the witch water basically here. No, we're not actually. <laughs> I thought this through before I did something silly. Let's put it like this. If we do this, we'll put it where we can reach it. Right? Now, I believe things will still continue to spawn, and hopefully they will start becoming wither skeletons. So if any skeletons spawn in there, they will become wither skeletons, and then we will see drops of evil show up in here. Uh, excuse me? In here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I want any of this? It's good to know. Um, I, I don't remember if I showed you, but I tried to set up this sort of majigger here where... Things will go in here first, and if they won't go in here, they will go in here, and then the next thing to have done would be to make a, a void place, but what happens is they go in here, and then get voided anyway. <laughs> so, it, it all works out in the end. Uh, a lot of this stuff is probably nonsense, but there are other things I want to do. Um, 
I think kind of want to delete a lot of this to be fair. Eventually anything that doesn't go in here is just going to be voided and I don't care. But for now, we do want a lot of the stuff that's being dropped because it's useful. That's really the only reason why. Um, the growth crystals are fine too. Low growth. The fluix block is good for us soon. Unpacked raw pork chop. Get some certus quartz. Why the heck not? Uh, all these things are going to be good, I think. Which is why I don't want to delete them. Because this zombie brain, I believe, is from Thorncraft. Yeah, that's a Thorncraft zombie brain. So let's make sure we've got some of those being stored. These are being weird as well. Um, I don't know if they have fixed themselves. But they have. So I don't know what's going on in this area. It's being weird, but hopefully it'll just either not be a problem or so. so Walk on air, sneaks to descend. We had, didn't I already have one of these? I'm going to keep it though. Uh, right click the to toggle, it's currently on. So I can, I should be able to now, uh, yeah, I can basically fly. Temporarily, but flying is. So right click to to toggle. Right click to to toggle. Oh, in your inventory. I did not know that. That's interesting. I don't know if it has to be in your inventory. That's a new thing. That's cool. Uh, filter might be useful. Anything else up here? Maybe, maybe not. We'll take some skulls. We know we're getting skeletons because we're getting skeleton skulls, right? So that seems fair. We know that eventually we should get some wither skeletons. I hope that's how that works. Emerald chest plate. Is that better than what I've got? Probably. Put these in here. Do, do, do. Should um, de blockify these. We're going to want these fluids crystals. We haven't already got any, if you don't know if you've noticed. So that's going to be something we're going to want to find space for. And let's get this over here. All right, cool. So um, at some point, we should get with the skeletons. Hopefully, we'll get with the skeletons uh, before the skeleton that was going to be with the skeleton gets killed by the, the mob farm thingy. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to find some way of intentionally creating wither skeletons, uh, normal skeletons, and turning them into wither skeletons and just beating the heck out of them until we um, have a drop of evil and then we can really get things going. But until then, no, it's not an option. Let's put this in here. And give me an ender pearl. You. I can elevate. Elevate. Good, good. Good. Now you only get one at a time, and obviously you need two for them to work. So you do need to uh, have a fair few ender pills available. So we're going to work in this area for now. There's a few things that we want to do down here. First of all, we're going to need some power, because I put this cloche over here, but it's not doing anything. I might do that off camera again. Next time I do it off camera work, I'm going to do the same thing, where we record it. Uh, I'll put it up as a sort of a zen, silent treatment thing. Look how fast these are growing. It's fantabulous. Yes, the other thing we're going to want to do is uh, with that power that we can bring in from over there is to start harvesting these things on purpose automatically with machines but until then before then and indeed until anything happens we are going to start having a look at a mod called mystical agriculture so I'm going to prepare myself off camera we're going to do a couple of them Britannia and mystical agriculture but we're going to get mystical agriculture hello computer going uh as soon as possible. Minecraft just crashed, so this is a good time for me to say I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty. Um, it, yeah. Please don't crash again. This, this is mystical agriculture. This is what we're going to start with straight away. Um, it's basically you can grow uh, 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 resources out of the ground. So here's the base. This, I've searched for essence tier one. Um, these are the tier one essences you can get from mystical agriculture. And start with stone, for example. You basically, uh, this seed reprocessor, just consider it being planted in the ground. That's how that's going to work. Uh, you can do that, or you can do this phytogenic insulate ore, which is from thermal expansion, which takes this flux phytogrowth. Um, basically, you can use this thing to, it pretends to be sunlight. You get the idea. Um, we're going to plant things in the ground, and it's going to be these seeds that we make. The seeds are created out of the inferior essence, stone, and a crafting seed. Crafting seed is tiered. So the basest of all crafting seeds are some prosperity shards and some seeds. I have picked up prismarine shards, which is not what I meant to do, so I'll be back in a minute. Uh, sorry about that. Where were we? Uh, surrounded by loud animals. Silence. Let's have a look at this then. Prosperity shards. The uses of these is to basically make uh, well, just the, the infusion crystal as well as I think we're going to need at some point. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, for now, we are going to look at these basic seeds so we pick up some seeds which we have plenty of but i keep forgetting about surround them with prosperity shards we end up with a base crafting seed which then tear up 
Not in the sense of boohoo wow. I cry about stuff. Do we have real seeds actually? That's a good question. Does it work with any seed? Uh, did I not? Oh, you chose to use the ender pack. Uh, base crafting seeds is. Yeah, we don't have any seeds. It's going to be a bit of a choppy episode as I actually try and pull together the resources we need because I thought those seeds would work. So, my mistake once again, back in a minute. Looks like you can just craft two wheat. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, four of them like this, but uh, probably just replace. I don't really need so much rice. We'll do that with three of them. This will grow over time so we can get more seeds that way. But what a pest, because now we only get to play with one seed. Oh, I'll do more of this off camera. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, this is how we're going to do this. So we get our base crafting seed. This is... Actually, it's a quest, so there you go. That's what we wanted to do. If we surround this with Inferium Essence, we get the uh, Tier 1 crafting seed used for crafting, not planting. The Tier 2 crafting seed is really where we want to start getting things um, done, because the Tier 2 crafting seed is... The Tier 1 crafting seed is surrounded by Prudentium Essence, and Prudentium is Inferium with the Infusion Crystal that we just saw, right? You can also downgrade the next level into four of the things. So it's four of the one that you currently have, plus an infusion crystal, which turns it into the next layer. And as we go up through the things like... We, we don't really want the tier one essences. They're not very good. We want essence... Like, is there anything in tier two that we really care about? The silicon. There's coal. That's going to be really good. Um, aluminium, copper. This is where we start actually in getting important stuff, like cow. I presume that makes leather, not more cows. Marble, as mineral, maybe. Uh, and then in tier three, that's where we start getting things like iron and nether cores and the actual things that we tend to run out of. Skystone, really. Cool. So there's lots of things, but we're going to need that infusion crystal. So let's have a look at making one of those. Refustion. I can't spell. I really hate this keyboard. If anyone got any advice on a decent keyboard, I will be all ears. Let's get a diamond. In an upcoming episode, I promise you, I will start making this thing a little bit easier to uh, access all of our resources because having to run through here all the time and not having any real catalog of what's in it is a problem. And I'll probably go mining off camera as well. But when I say off camera, in that situation, I do mean in fact on camera, but not talking using uh, using when the Steam stream and the other stream at the same time. So let's make. An infusion crystal, which is more than that's plenty. We haven't got very much of this. This is all of it, by the way. So this stuff's been hard to find. You can get a uh, there is a I think there's a rest or essence. No? no prosperity essence, really. Pros. Where's my P? Prosperity s. Not any prosperity yeah. essence. Interesting. So you have to dig that up. You really, really have to dig that up. And it's all over the stone block down at the, the, the dimension there. There's some in the nether, but we can't get to them. And, of course, from sand, which is where we got the one we do have from in the first place. So I uh, don't really need that. It's okay. Where were we? We were going to create some of this. So in order to get the tier 2 crafting seed, we want the tier 1 surrounded by Prudential Essence. This is going to start breaking. There is the Master Infusion Crystal, which... Has infinite uses, but it requires supremium essence. Supremium is for, oh, sorry, su yes, yeah, supremium is for mm. superium, which is for intermediate, which is for prudential, which is for inferior. That multiplies up very quickly, and I'm not even going to do the maths on camera because that would be embarrassing to me. These are the same color in my eyes. They are not the same color in real life. Mm. They certainly look like the same color to me. One, two, four, and this, and we've got tier two, which is great, and we're completing quests like they're going out of fashion, which is brilliant. Um, of course, you have to do four of these you can already see how they um go up in it, it multiply up just to get that that should stay where it is because now we want the four prudentium essence to turn into one of these quest complete we need four of those don't we yes so it's, it's basically a stack of this to make four of those why did you go and Oh, and then, and then. We need those four to turn this into a tier three, and that's why I'm going to stop because at that point I'm going to start wanting to use this to make essence. Now, I can turn that back, which is really nice because then we can just 
We can return this stack to this stack. It will cost us this again to make it back up. I don't really care at this point. Uh, we want to make seeds for iron. We can't really do that right now, but I do want to show you how it can be done because uh, the iron seed requires more intermediate essence, which I don't think we have enough inferior essence to do that. Uh, and four iron ingots. Now, the inferior essence, I think, so far has been dropping from mobs. So if we just leave that mob farm running, uh, we should be grand. Uh, and I'm going to sort of leave the uh, mystical agriculture thing there for now. I'm just showing, showing you what I was doing to begin with. Cow. You're silly. Oh, heck you. <laughs> Make the cow go away because. Where is my teleporter? That's annoying. Um, I'll leave that there for now. That's the start of mystical agriculture, which is. A good start because we've got at least uh, we, we know a bit where we're going. I press shift twice back. Um, but we're going to need a little bit more stuff before we can make any good out of it. Have a look in here. I want to show you what I've done over here before I else. Um, I've, I've turned this off basically, right? This says active on redstone sickle. I've got the witch water in here, so these skeletons would care to actually move around <laughs> a little bit then we can turn them into wither skeletons there we go and apparently charged creepers which is scary and then we can turn this back on again because what was happening was as i feared um the skeletons were dying before they spawned in here so i was hoping that we had a couple more but i did hear one going i want to uh, active on redstone signal left. And this should have a couple of things in it. Probably not going to have a drop of a uh, drop of evil just yet. It will come in time. And the problem with this setup is it's not very big. Another thing we could possibly do is uh, I'll just put this in. Another thing we could possibly do is well, there's a couple of things we could do at this point actually. I don't really want to do either of them uh, because they're both a bit scary. But I'm going to wander off, leave that as it is, let a few things spawn, let the um, <clears throat> let them be skeletons, and then once that's you know got a few skeletons available to me, try and attract them into the into the witch water, and then and then kill them, and then hopefully that gives a drop of evil, and we can move on from there. So we've made a start on this, and the next thing I want to start on is Britannia. So this is going to be a bit of a greenery episode. Mm -hmm. One side is going to be for the first thing, and one side is going to be other thing so let's have a look at botania and i'll come back in a minute when i'm ready for that i just want to show you this aside uh, before i continue with botania because uh, this is really cool it's conduit binders iron and then this pulsating crystal which is just diamond and some nugs we've got loads of nugs so i'm gonna make this and i'm gonna make a couple of them and i'll show you what they do when we have them and the reason i want them is because i'm kind of bored of constantly moving around the place all the time uh, walking. Walking is boring. No one needs to do that. So uh, we can make three of these, which means we can make three of these. Uh, let's take some iron from our little supply here. By the way, in case you weren't paying enough attention, which I wasn't, it turns out I did have enough of the inferior essence to make one iron seed. So that is currently attempting, doing its very best to grow uh, somewhere out there somewhere. So if I put this, I don't like the, why did I make an even width? Hmm? I put this here this right click it you can put a name on here so I'm gonna call this the stacks oh, I don't like where it is though I'm not put it there I do need to get sort of a supply of stone going as well don't I because it's kind of annoying that we keep breaking stone and having to replace it with cobblestone uh, let's put it here we've got one travel anchor here already configured to be called the stacks you can put a item here and it will use it as a logo for that thingy uh, it doesn't need any power which I think is amazing by the way so let's do that and then over here if we put another one here called greenhouse greenhouse green hose oh, house uh, industrial hemp seeds not really what I was going for that anchor. And if we stand on this one we can see the other one. If we jump, woof, we're over there. If we jump, woof, we're over there. How good is that? I love it. Uh, I was considering putting one at the mob farm. Let's do that. Just on camera real quick. We know what we're doing. That's going to be grand in my opinion. Um, 
I, I want some more, and I would like one that would take me up to the mining dimension. It's going to be super, because getting up there is a massive pain. Mob. Mob. Farm. Enter. Take it. You have to obviously have the item you want to use for it. But now we can see our greenhouse at the stacks. It, um, I like the way it... I like the way that works. It's really cool. Um, and I'm going to now continue preparing for Britannia, which I think we're kind of already... You know, I think we're already there. I've basically been doing this over and over again. Um, if you bone meal grass, you get a bunch of random things growing, some of which may be poppies and some of which may be dandelions, and that's really what we want. Because we're going to turn those into floral fertilizer. Floral fertilizer. I made this... Oh. Pardon me for speaking English. Um, this is the Let's Go Britannia. The recipe for this is a sapling and a book. So I made it off camera because you don't need to see me craft together a sapling and a book. We had all the pieces we needed to make out. Then I'm going to go down here and hope for the best that we have maybe a pulverizer. Yes, because if I put these in here, we get a little bit more out of them than if we just crafted them independently, individually in our in our in our inventory. I'm going to give you a little bit of stuff. That's okay with you because I'd like them. Uh, and this just means they'll go a little bit further, which means all my time uh, spent bone mealing will not go completely to waste. Now, floral fertilizer is made out of bone meal, and then this floral powder here is a thing, and then we're not using that, we're doing this one, which is all of that makes one, which is not much. And mind you, all of this makes one as well, which is just the thing that we don't have yet. Well, it's a few things. It's pestle and mortar. I don't know if that's better. I think that's worse, actually. Oi. No one said you down. Sunshine. We got so much more out of this. Four out of that. Oh, I guess we got four out of each. That's really good, actually, because if you craft them individually, you get one. It's not enough. Uh, of course. <laughs> and now I would have put a travel anchor down here as well. But we didn't. Luckily, this is close. All right, cool. So the, the floral fertilizer, I'm going to go over here and do it. This is going to allow us to basically do exactly the same thing that we just did do, except, um, what is all that noise? I do not like it. Uh, except, bone meal please. Uh, it will produce Batania flowers and not, uh, not Minecraft flowers, which is really nice. So these things are going to be the start of a sort of a magical based mod. Uh, you know what? We should have be able to do this. Yes, we can. If I do this and then... Uh, we also... Uh, just let me check. Nothing's going to spawn here. Nothing's going to spawn here. That's nice. Do that. um, if we do this, we can go and get some shears. We get twice as much out of each one. I think it's a good idea because we don't have so many in the first place. So let me uh, do all this. Collect as many of the petals as I can because it's really flipping boring getting the petals off of these things. Uh, and then I'll come back once again and show you what we do with it. Back in a minute. No. Look, these anchors are a luxury I'm going to have to get used to because I forgot that I could just do this and then craft them and then come back. So I did it off camera and I went, oh, well, maybe I didn't have to. Uh, I'm going to show you what I do here. You have to use shears if you do the trick um, where you grow these things with bone meal. If you So I picked this one up without bone meal and that happens. Mm. But if you try and break these ones with bone without... Uh, what did I say? What am I even saying? Am I saying the right thing? I don't know. Um, the ones that I picked up before I started bone mealing them, I could just pick up by hitting them. If you don't use shears, then it will not work. It will break. You just won't get the, the drop from it. So always use shears to pick up the ones that you have created um, after bone mealing them. So I'm going to just shove a couple of things in here, like this conduit binder. We don't... Uh, can I get rid of any of this stuff? I think I can probably store some of this stuff in here. I know that I've got these things in another chest somewhere, but soon en enough, um, we're not going to be we're really worrying about that too much anyway. So I'm just going to sort of store this stuff in here because it's in my inventory and taking up space, and it means I can't pick things up. And of course, you just craft these, and then you get four petals. And that's what we're going to start with. So let's grab as many of these as we can. I might have to do this over again, which is the annoying thing, because we do need a lot of petals to begin with. And if I show you inside the Lexica Britannia, and I accidentally clicked on the tutorial, even though I know what I'm doing, so it's telling me how to play it. Um, we need a pestle and mortar, which will produce... Well, we don't need it. 
because we've already got through that. Right clicking the floor apparently on the wall of carpet. Can you just go down? Right. Um, here's how you do that. Here's how you do that. We've already seen those. Uh, what we want to look at is the uh, petal apothecary, which is going to be easy to make. Because it is quite simply just, if you don't mind, here you go. It's any petal. Any petal? Or a mushroom? What? I didn't know that. Oh, these are the Patania. Oh, I see. You can use those mushrooms that I have found a few of in place of petals, which is really cool. Um, the That's easy to make. And then the pure daisy requires white petals. Oh, also we need to make a stick. So we're going to need a few petals of various types. Four white petals of four white mushrooms. I don't know if you can combine different types, but it might work. So that's what we're going to be trying to put together next. Um... Yeah, we, we did pick up some shimmery mushrooms just from floating around in the mining dimension. That's good. That's good, good, good. Um, unfortunately, you can't just shift. Like, oh, you can. Do this then. Uh, and we probably would like some storage for this in the stacks. But as you can see, we're not getting too many. And certainly, it's a bit off that you get different plants at different frequencies. So we have lots of sun petals and hardly any of other petals. And that's going to be a problem because we've only just got four white ones. And we're really going to need more white ones than that. So uh, I think this is a good place to start. Right, we can we can work with this for now. Maybe I shouldn't have put this right where we did, but that's okay. Um, cobblestone, please. That's a few. Uh, and some slabs. Do we have some slabs available? Yes, that might be enough. Stop hitting the microphone. And then we can put this here, and then, and then. Was that it? Yes, it is. Ta-da! How good am I? Also, I didn't uh, hand in those other quests, so maybe we can do that on camera. How does that sound, friends, boys and girls? Let's do that. Ooh. Also, this should be filled up with a sink. Was sinks easy to make? Can we? There we go. Sinks easy to make. Sink. Sink. I don't think it'll automatically draw it though. Three iron, a water bucket, and something else. Terracotta. That's the hard bit to make, isn't it? Go cook stuff. Clay. Is any of that? Clay, clay, clay. Yes. We're going to run out of that soon as well though, so we might have to start using this uh, arrangement here to make some... Or some other arrangement. I mean, there's many ways of making clay. Uh, normal smelter? We just cook things straight up. Nope. Can you do it? What did I do with my actual cooker? A bunch of furnaces here. I don't know. I'm sure I had more furnaces than this. You know your friends are, don't you? Go up here. Come up here. I'm sure I had a powered furnace. Am I going insane? Am I losing my mind? Where's my furnace? What have we done with it? Oh, I'll put these generators down here, by the way, which I think might actually turn out to be a good idea because it means that the power is going to be a lot closer to our greenhouse than it would otherwise have been. Although we are going to need a few more of these, which means we're going to need more lead, which means blah, blah, blah. Everything gets a bit difficult because I can't be bothered. All of that. So where's my furnace, though? Yeah? Where's my furnace? Any old furnace? I'll be back in a minute. Bit much when you haven't got a redstone furnace. Nor do I have enough flipping, hecking, bothering, annoying, silly flipping. I guess the other thing I should probably do is go and find my. Where, where's my charge porter? Let's have a look for that because. Why does it keep disappearing? Give me my charged porter. Porter. Where are you? What? I must have put it in a, a chest somewhere or something, right? Something voided, surely. Yeah, I found my other uh, ender pouch. <laughs> so <laughs> this is happening all the time and I'm going slightly mad. Okie dokie. Let me get one more of these. What we're here for. Um, you see, we could put some more of those ender travel anchor things here and there. But they're quite expensive. A diamond each, which is not too bad. I mean, I can deal with a diamond each usually, but... I don't have any more diamonds. I mean, I have to make some more pulsating ingots, which means um, more, 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 more endermans die. It's hard. So, 
Oh, we should check on this while we're here. Let's do that. Since we're going this way, we can use the travel anchor to get back, which means actually this is probably what. Let's have a look inside here. Anybody? There's nothing in here. Very well. <laughs> Guess we'll have a look later. Okay, see you. Right, let's go to the stacks and make a sink. Oh, we do need to get a, a bucket of water. Water comes from any other sink, and there is one somewhere. Hello? I think. I know there's one over here somewhere, because this is made. That'll do. Um, good. Well done. Nice. Very, very well thought out episode today. Oh, one day we'll get around to having an uh, just there'll be an episode and you'll go, wow, what an amazing episode. That was so insightful and informative and entertaining. And I'm glad that you put it on YouTube because we have all been waiting for something just like this to be part of our lives. Why am I walking? <laughs> yeah, remember your Womble. No, remember that you have some things. What was the sink for? We needed water for something. What was I doing? Right, we were making this thing is going to now be filled up. I don't think that if we do this, um, oh, we should probably won't fill it up automatically. It's going to hazard a guess. No. So maybe we could get away with an ender conduit to sort that out. So get that out of there. Um, I thought <laughs> I had. Look, I thought, why is the why is this got a Time accelerator on it. It didn't. Um, that's in there. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Old gear. This this is full of crap. <laughs> Help me, please. I'm going out of my mind. Fluid conduit. Yes, please. Uh, greenhouse. Thank you. So we'll put this down here. We will put this here. And then we will make sure this is extract always active. And this. <sighs> Making me use a Yeta wrench. Something as simple as connection you should already have made. Where are you? There you are. I am so glad I made that. I'm glad that I showed you that I made that. Oh, I wonder if because ah, I wonder if leaving this on a different um. Excuse me. Why don't you seem to think that you connect to that? This. Accept. I know that you accept. Right? Alright. We'll do it the hard way. Fluid conduit. Fluid. Fluid duct. Reinforced servo because I am. I'm mad man. I'm so angry. Connect. Okay. Don't think that you can connect. Can you connect to the side? Connect to anything. I know that you used to be able to connect. Why don't these connect anymore? Put this torch back before we all die. Um, you, fine. You know what? Fine. You've broken me. I'm a broken man. You you win, game. You know best, I'm sure. Never mind the fact that we always used to do this. Uh, we will simply do this. Oh, I know. Let's make a... Um, I think it's just three pieces of wood. This should make a drying rack. No. Rack. Drying. This. Three slabs. Okay. Uh, and then a bucket. I know. I'm going insane. You're wondering. We're all going. What are you doing? Why have you got a drying rack in a bucket? I'll show you why I got a drying rack in a bucket. If you'd have a little bit of patience would all be able to see why I have a drying rack. This used to work. Oh. Still does work. So we can put our bucket here and we can always have a bucket on hand above the sink. So, I thought that was automatable and it makes me sad that it did not work and I would like to know why. Because I, honestly, I'm going to want to automate that. That's the other thing about this. I, <laughs> I feel like I should be able to automate that because it's going to need to happen at some point. Uh, we should probably keep those shears on another rack like that, actually. But there we go. We have got a thingy that we were asked to make. The next step was to put four of these in, but you need to make your wand of the forest first. Let's do that. 
Wander the forest uh, is here. So you make a living wood. Ooh, living wood. We're doing. We need to make living wood first. Reasonably think maybe you just put four, four of these in here. Let's try it. Uh, might be confused slightly. And right click. And then oh seeds. Yes, yes, yes. Telling me to do it as well. So also I couldn't help but notice, but my iron is growing. So you put four petals in there, and then you throw seeds into that, and you get the thing, which is the pure daisy. Leave me alone, rooster. Yeah, buck, 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 buck at your mama. Uh, we'll bung that there. Nope. We'll bung that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to surround it with wood, because this is how we make this game go. Get some spruce wood, please. This will do. You can, by the way, tick accelerate your your daisy. Do that first. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And this will very quickly, hopefully, have an axe. Luckily, we can do this. Is that behind me? You just missed all the wonderful particle effects. This is, this is, should we finish this episode? Probably some time ago. Let's keep going. I'm okay with this. I don't mind. Um, greenhouse, bees, and we have living wood. Oop. Great. So here's living wood. That makes a living wood stick. And then you craft this with two. Basically anything. You get to pick the colour of your. I think we need two of those actually. Makes sense. Three? Probably three. Three twigs. And you get to pick the colour of your wand, which is a fascinating mm. amount of um, customization. Especially for a. Let's have magenta. Like doing the Fallout character creation all over again. No, that was horrible. Magenta and yellow. I don't like the fact you're the other way around. Or to be the other way around. Eh, yeah, magenta on top. That's okay. That's a bunch of Britannia already started. This is going to help us out with various things, but most of those are utility things that are just make the game go faster. This is what we're really after, which is a fully grown iron essence. We got one. This is what we did at the start of the episode. This has been growing happily because underneath I put down these growth crystals because I'm clever and smart. Those growth crystals are basically acting like fertilizer and water at the same time. So we can fill this area with these things as we get more and more. If you have a look at the uses of this, if we have eight of them, we get six iron ingots, which is great. So with more of these, which is what we want, some automation mm. to pick them for us, some automation to craft them for us, we can start getting a steady supply of iron ingots into our system. So in the next couple of episodes, we're going to look at, well, I'll probably off camera try and make a few more of these. You've seen the basic principles, so I don't know if I want to go making all of them in different mm. fashions. Uh, but maybe if we got something interesting in you, I'll show you that. I wonder if we could get that um, sink to fill that up as well. Just make another sink. That doesn't matter. Also, I'm going to try and get power up here. We do want to make a maintenance mm. sort of shaft area for the greenhouse. So we kind of want to run some power back there as well. Uh, and that will help us mm. dig these up um, automatically. And then we can think about getting them into the system automatically. And then in the next episode or so, we're going to have a better way of actually supplying our system in the first place because having to wander around the stacks looking for things one at a time and the fact that the stacks stop sort of here because it won't set it up properly these are all problems for me definitely problems that i don't like so we're going to fix them and the way we're going to fix them is leave this episode here think about it off camera and hopefully in the next episode actually have a plan so thanks for watching and i'll see you then